I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a scenario related to screen flow. So let's understand the requirement now, which I'm going to demonstrate in this video. So uh, we will be creating an opportunity on account through flow, and uh, we need to send a custom notification to account owner. So here, before starting the flow, we need to create a custom notification. So in setup, you can search for custom notification. Now here, click on new. So here you need to write the custom notification name. So I'm naming it as demo notification supported for both and save. Now I'm just copying this API name and I'm going to create new flow. So first of all, uh, I'm going to get that custom notification in the flow. So I'm going to select get record element. So get custom notification. So this way uh, here I selected custom notification type as object and uh, provided this condition. So how many records one and how to store record data automatically store all the fields, right? So now you can click on done. Now the requirement says uh, we need to create an opportunity on account. So I'm going to have a screen. So here I need to have opportunity information. So quickly I'm placing these components. So first will be name, then we need to provide date. So here I am labeling it as close date and then pick list so that we can have the stage. Record choice set here I'm providing API name as stage name. Then here I need to select opportunity, then pick list, then stage name and done. So this way opportunity information will be received through this screen. Now I need to link this opportunity to account. So I'm creating this record ID variable. Sorry, I need to select text as data type and available for input and done. Now, after that, I just need to have create record element. So I need to create opportunity. How many records to create one? Then use separate resources and literal values. Then here I need to select opportunity. So I need to map name with opportunity name. Then I need to map close date with close date, I need to map stays name with uh, stays pick list, right? And then I need to populate account ID with record ID. So this way opportunity record will be created, right? So we just get the custom notification, then the screen for opportunity information, then create opportunity. Now, I need to send custom notification to account owner. So I need account owner ID. So for that, I need to use get record element. So here I'm writing label as get account details. So here you need to search for account. Then here ID equals record ID and leave everything as is and click on done. So account information will be available. Now, after that, you can have one action. So here you can search for custom notification and you can select this option, send custom notification. So here you can uh, provide the loop label as send notification. Here we need to provide the custom notification type ID. So we already received that. So custom notification ID. 
then you need to have notification body and title so for body i am creating new resource as text template so here i am writing as notification body and plain text so i'm just writing notification body so as per your requirement you can have uh, any other message and you can insert resources as well right so i am just clicking on done so it will be available here then i need to create a title so again i am going to select text template so notification title and then i am clicking on done then here we need to provide recipient id so we have account details so i am just selecting account owner id okay so basically uh, this id uh, we need to wrap in a collection variable then it will be available so i am just clicking on cancel and i will be recreating it so before that i am going to create new resource as of type variable so naming it as ids data type is text allow multiple and done so before that i am just using assignment variable so assign owner id so here i am going to use this that variable adding account owner id and then i am going to create that action so here we need to use this notification id then notification body then title and here we can provide ids okay and these are optional parameters if you want to set you can otherwise you can ignore so here i just need to click on done then i am just clicking on save so send custom notification on opportunity creation i am saving it activating it now i am just moving to account record and i'm going to place that flow so i am editing the page so here i am just replacing this flow so if you if you are placing this flow for the first time so here from left hand side you can just drag and drop it and uh, you just need to select your flow from here so it is send custom notification so i'm selecting it enabling this checkbox so that the account record id will be passed i am saving it moving back so now i need to create account sorry opportunity and then i need to see the notification so i am creating opp501 here you can see we have two opportunities so one more will be created okay so it is showing some error so let me just see what error is coming so it is showing like you can't send a custom notification without a navigation target specify either a target id or target page reference on the send custom notification action okay so we need to jump here so we need to provide the target id so let me uh, set account id as the target id clicked on done save as so i created new version and i am refreshing the page still it is showing the error okay so we need to identify like what uh, we need to pass in the target id so what you can do search on the google uh, custom notification in flow salesforce so you will find this uh, flow core action so here basically you will find the properties 
So it is asking for target ID. So target ID is optional, the record ID for the target record of the notification. Specify either a target ID or a target page reference. This parameter accepts single value parameter type, but it is optional. So let me just read this where it is failing. So we have this, 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 but it is saying uh, you can't send custom notification without a navigation target. Okay, so we provided navigation target as record ID, still it is failing, but here it is saying like it is optional. Basically what happened, so I just saved it as a new version, but I didn't activate it. So I'm just activating it and moving here and refreshing the page again. So whenever you do save as and create new version, so don't forget to activate the flow. So I clicked on next. Now you can see there is no error. Opportunity 501 is created, right? And at top right corner, you can see this bell icon is uh, receiving a notification because account owner is the current logged in user. So that's why that user is getting a notification. So notification title and notification body. So this way uh, through screen flow, you can send a notification to the user, right? So uh, this was the requirement, like how to send custom notification to uh, user when you do certain operation through screen flow.